Well, hey guys, we are back for another Java with James with Graham. And Java with James with Graham. Yes. Here in Portland. And, having some great um, Java. Well, are we though? We're having it's, Java. Is it great? It's great because I've heard around the paddock that the Honda Hospitality has the best coffee. Is this true? It's very good. Um, I'm just really shocked you just don't like coffee. I feel like race car drivers, uh -huh. cars yeah. in general, yeah. coffee, those things go together. Well, I mean, there are certain drivers that don't even really like cars, right? That's actually, that is shockingly true right? with a lot of drivers. With, like, they like race cars, but they don't really care about cars. But I feel like particularly as you're older, you need coffee. What are you trying to say? You need coffee to survive. That, I guess I'm still young. You are certainly older. Ah. Uh... You're older know. than me. I'm older I know than that. you, but I don't need coffee. <laughs> so what uh, what are we drinking here? This is an iced latte. Okay. It's what a fancy is that? way of saying espresso and milk. Espresso and milk on ice. Why don't you want it hot? Uh, it's too hot outside. It's too hot out. All right. Well, let's, but anyway, give let's it a shot. Tell is. me what you think. So it's an iced latte. This is like like uh, one sip. You know the rules. You just. I'm running out of ways to describe how bad this is. Like, there's nothing bad about this. So, like this morning, I ran like five miles, and I think if I had done that about 30 degrees hotter, and then got home, taken my gym socks off, wrung them out into a cup. That is not what this tastes like. It's pretty cold. No, man. no, no, no. And Honda gives you these nice big straws. It's like a larger the, intake. The you straw, get more yeah, at once. Is, you know? I do like that. Some this of the is, others are too small. How's the car business? Graham Ray Hall Performance is expanding it at is. an incredible rate. For those that don't know, Graham is a business owner, entrepreneur. It's good, man. Uh, GRP is doing well. When did it start? May 15th, weirdly, of 2020. And we had five employees. You had five employees? Five employees. And uh, as we turn the page to today, across our various brands, we've gone from five total employees to 74. Kind of crazy, man. But That's for me, wild. racing is always the priority. This is where you build your name. This is where the foundation of it all, just like my dad. But you got to be ready for when the music stops. The next step. Uh, that's the time in which I'll take Townsend's job <laughs> and then sell cars too. So I'm just preparing myself for what's to come. Well, I'm glad you said Townsend's job and not my job. No, because I, I feel like our banter could be good on TV. I feel like it could be pretty good. I've known you since you were shorter than me. I don't know if it's many people realize there was a time, actually, when Graham was shorter than me. It's been a long time. You also had frosted tips. Do we want to talk about that? We do not need to talk about that, no? but that okay. actually came back up last week at oh, really? St. Louis. Somebody brings up this old national karting news. You nice. Know, I'm on the cover yep. with a yellow CRG yep. go-kart and yellow hair. And I'm like, what? in the world. I thought you, weren't you a Burrell guy most of your I career? went from CRG, Burrell, CRD. Okay, you bounced around I, I, a little I bit. wasn't too loyal, I don't think. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> I bounced around a bit, so. So, we're here in Portland, a race that we've talked about recently because, or track we talked about recently, because you and I have raced here for a long time together, going all the way back to 2005. 05. Yeah. And you had me on a little segment that you were filming back in Toronto. Should we ignore that? It was almost 20 years ago. Yeah, no, we're going to skip okay. right over that. Moving along. We're going to skip right the heck over that. Moving along. And uh, and you brought up this particular race. And why why did you bring up that particular race, man? All I said, James, was that I won. Yeah. That's all I remember about it, to be honest with you. I don't... Mm. That's not what you remember. That's not what I remember. <laughs> That's what I remember about that given weekend. That's fair. That's fair. I remember that I was leading that race. Yeah. And on a late restart, I went to defend down into turn one. And I thought I'd gotten close enough to pit wall to not leave a car width. <laughs> and you uh, argued that fact. And you found just a car width and an inch. And you went by. And it was a handful of laps to go. And you won the race. And I've always said there are like maybe three or four races yeah. in my entire career, like go-karts, junior cars, IndyCar, whatever. We have those. That you lose sleep over. And that, it's the 2005 Star Mazda race at Portland is one, of them? is one of the ones that I lose sleep over. For me, most of my races I lose sleep over involve Scott Dixon stealing from me on strategy somehow. So you, <laughs> so I, so I know exactly. Added to this I, collection. Of, that's twice at Indy GP. I don't know if people remember 2020. I led the whole thing too, and he still beat me. So that's two times that he's gotten me at Indy GP. 
That's a very Scott Dixon thing to do. But I fully understand. I apologize. Uh, 18 years on. No, you shouldn't. Do you want to know? You shouldn't. Do you want to know why? Because I learned from that day. Yeah. And there was at least three other races that I can think of where in a very similar situation, I made sure I was glued to the wall. So you closed the deal. And I won those races. Closed the deal. So you actually won me a couple races okay. inadvertently. Well, I then I'm, I'm happy over. for what happened on that given day, but it's been a long time of coming here. And I love this place. Great track. Just uh, hope we can keep coming back and hopefully we can win here again. Like, I was literally thinking about that this morning 18 years ago. Like, man, that has flown by. But also to go winless, that also shows that my win percentage here is very poor. Because if I've been here for that long, well, it was a little well, hiatus in the one. middle. Yeah, you, you uh, got it. But it's it's a heck of a good spot to come. So we kind of talk about the business that you've grown outside yeah. of the sport. Obviously, the racing right now is the focus. Yep. How much longer do we think that's going to be the focus for Grant? I think you know right now I'm in the midst of trying to renegotiate for next year. Um, you know, uh, I actually started negotiating with my dad and he goes, I can't do this. You're gonna have to talk to somebody else. So I'll get with Mr. Land again. We'll try to sort something out here soon. Has that always been the setup? Yeah, I've always dealt with Mike. Yeah. You know, but um, but in this case, you know, my offer letter came from my dad. So I thought, well, I'll just go back to go back to him and have a serious sit down conversation, which normally between the two of us becomes very heated <laughs> and we leave <laughs> without anything being accomplished. But in this case, I'll go speak with Mike you know, and I, I, I feel like I still have years of, of good, you know, racing ahead of me. Um, but it, what's that number? Is it five years? I mean, I think that's realistically the sort of number. I don't know that I can do it as long as Dixie. Uh, and some of these, well, I shouldn't say as long as. Obviously, I started 18, you know, so it's well, already what, been long. Yeah, what season but, are you in? Uh, this was like 16 or 17. So that's the thing, you know, you... You don't have to go to 42 to make like it how, to dig. I mean, Dixie's only on, like, what, 22? Well, like, how far do you go, you know? And and for me, it's all about uh, being competitive and winning. You know, I'm not in the position anymore that, uh, that I've got to do this or that... I, you know, the money is important and all that stuff. So sure, we all need to make a living. That's 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 the truth. The reality is that my 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 reasoning to be here is to, to run up front to win. And two weeks ago, that brought that love back. I know I can do it. And so, you know, you've got years left to go. At the same time, there's a lot of young guys coming in. I mean, you look at Christian, been exceptionally fast. Uh, his, his race craft's gotten a lot better this year. And uh, it's it's fun for me in a way now to see. You know, when you're young, you hate everybody. And as you get older here a little bit, yes, you still want to beat everybody. You want to beat the socks off them. But it's also cool to have an influence on their career and to see that I can help them improve. So in another five years, maybe you turn the page to now that becomes your role versus you know, going out there and trying to beat them each and every day because the youth is coming in <laughs> Whether you and like they're it or fast. Not, <laughs> look at Polo, so, look at Christian, you know, uh, look at Pato, look at all these young guys coming in. They're, they're prepared and they're freaking fast. So do you, have, do you, have you liked that role, that kind of putting your arm around the young guy on the team and trying to show him the ropes and teach him? I mean, you still want to beat him, I Last know. Last year was like, okay, because it's like, all right, he qualified a little better than me, but I'll smoke him I get him Sunday. on Sunday, yeah. And nowadays it's like, he's pretty damn good on Sundays too, so <laughs> yeah. it's, it's harder to uh, to beat him, you know? But but I do enjoy showing him things and, and, and helping them think differently. I think, you know, where I, been good you know over my whole career isn't being the outright fastest guy but typically I think on Sundays in most cases I feel like I can outsmart the guys around me I can drive the car differently manage my tires or you know being very involved in the strategy from the inside and to be able to show Christian some of that or how do you do that um, it's, it's fun to have a positive impact for sure but you don't want to be beaten by yeah, them yeah, yeah. it's like Dixie I mean Dixie's still the best but the guys are beating them now quite yeah. often, right? And you think he enjoys that? No. Not, so not one show them the book, they get to see the book. Well, now you got to try to pull that now back Now the book's a closed bit. Yeah. and it's back so. in the library. Yeah, so we'll see. The the team's gone through a couple tough seasons yeah. in terms of, you know, you've had flashes of good you have good weekend here, good weekend there, but over the run, it's yeah. been tough. below your expectations, tough. certainly. Does a race like Indy GP a couple weeks ago 
like, does that just make it all good again and it, and it no lights that fire? You know and that. We all know that, you know, it lights the fire because I'll say it, like we, we dominated. It's a shame not to win, but you get the fastest lap, which I didn't even know we had. You get, you run, have to run two black tires in the race that nobody else did, and yet we still managed to, to lead, to pull away, to do all the things that we needed to do. To be on pole again felt refreshing because it had been a long time, that's no secret, and that's not necessarily my sort of specialty. But to control the race the way that we did, yes, then you're like, well, this is how it's supposed to be, and this is how I know we can be. Our challenge as a team is, and will continue to be, frankly, getting the personnel that we need with the growth that we've had. You know, you go from one car yeah. to two to three, hiring engineering support, hiring staff. Uh, we've got a great group of mechanics, which has always been the strength. But I think as we go forward, there's still a lot of challenges. And maybe over the past couple of years, you know, if you were somebody on the open market, you're going, ah, I don't know about RLL. I don't know if that's gonna be my first choice to go to that team. But I think people as of late are going, wow, those guys have really turned it around. Sure, we struggled at St. Louis, but we we struggled at all ovals this year. So we know that's a weakness. But if you look at us as, as of late, I think people are pretty surprised and you become an intriguing place uh, for people to come. And so hopefully hopefully that can continue through the winter. We can get some more, some more folks in this place uh, and have a really positive next few years. When when the driving stops and you take Townsend's job, yeah. um, are, are you still gonna be involved in the team? Do you want to be involved I in the think, team? You know, I was always hesitant. Yeah. And then we built this building, and I joke about it all the time, but it is the truth. I wasn't at the groundbreaking ceremony because I think we're on track at Indy. Uh, and about an hour. This is the new shop. Yep. The new RL it's shop. It's now built and everything else. But I, about an hour after that happened, I got a call from my dad, and he said, "Hey, it was simple." The message is clear. I already hey, love this. Just so you know, word for word, Michael and my expectation, which is Mike Landing, and Michael and my expectation is that you and Patrick are gonna take on all of this and keep it going for us. And it was like Patrick's Mike's son. Yep. Yeah. So that was a pretty clear message. The laws to me. been laid down. Before that it was like, okay. hey, do you think you'd like to do this? Right. Now it was my expectation nope, is this is what we believe is gonna happen. Uh, and you're going to be the one to do it. So we'll see. I, I look forward to seeing how that all plays we'll out. I, uh, I might ask for a job one day. You never know. You can come run it. I didn't say that. Do you want to own part of it? No, Do you want I, to take part of the stress? No, no. I just want to like clean wheels or something. I just want to be. I just want to be part of the show. Um, how's family life, man? Your your dad two times over. Is there a third? Are we are we discussing a third? I feel like I'm gonna have my own cheerleading squad if I keep adding. <laughs> I think it's pretty clear that you got the old Henry VIII gene. Huh? Yeah, I think I think that that's where I'm headed. But the girls are great. Harlan's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, Tinley girls uh, won next week. Congratulations. Um, and uh, big big first birthday yeah. plans. You got a party uh, plan or no, something? No, after after Laguna we'll, yeah, yeah. we'll do something. Uh, but nothing crazy, you know. She's not gonna. I remember. think the it's the fine. enjoyment for her is just the face and the cake, everything else is a blur. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I mean, everything is great. I mean, it's a lot for Courtney right now. I think being on the road, it's been tough. Um, particularly at the end of the season, you're just bam, 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 bam. And you know, for her, that's been difficult. Plus, Tinley Girl's like, she's got an impressive speed of crawl. Okay. And if she sees you, she'll take off yeah. incredibly quick. Uh, and of course, like most babies that crawl, loves the staircases. Of course. Which, and finds her way to grab anything that is glass and breakable. So we're working through that. Um, we had our first stitches the other day. Nice. Not with her, but with Harlan. Yeah, yeah. Um, was, that, was it like the chin? Chin, deal? man. Yeah, had we, her. We, Bam. That's the, it's the hockey, uh, oh, it's the hockey scar. Bad. But we're through that, so the girls are great. It's been awesome. I, I tell you all the time. Look, yeah, you. There's nothing in this world like it. And now you come out to the races, and you know, you're signing autographs, and you see little your little girl, boys, three-year-old, two-year-old, it just immediately takes you back to your kids, and so it's, it's a lot of fun. It's it's funny not not to not to bring up you know a, a low point of the year, but as we're talking about family, just as someone observing from the outside, someone that's known you for so long, we've been friends forever. Indy, huh. yeah. and what happened in qualifying? Yeah, but getting out of the car and those those images of you surrounded by your three girls yeah. with with Courtney I and was, the kids. I mean, I was good. 
for a moment. Doing my interviews, I was composed, I felt good, you know, and then I looked to the right and you see the three girls and it was like, oh man. You know, just the emotion just immediately comes over you. To them, nothing matters except for quality time. Yeah. Nothing else in this world has matters at yeah, all. They don't care who but you are, she, what you do, she where you've been. running up, hugs me, and the first thing she goes, oh, daddy, you're wet. <laughs> and it just immediately grounds you to the whole situation. I think it's way more fun to have, have them there to enjoy the, the peaks and the valleys. of. They make the valleys a lot better. Yeah, yeah. Um, the peaks, again, the same thing. They don't really get it, but it doesn't really matter because you do. and. You know, to have them there, like the P1 photos, to have them have them there and, and uh, uh, have them on the grid and all that stuff is really special. So, I, you know, I wish I wish we could have won that one for more than just the reasoning of winning, but it would have been great to have podium, you know, winter po photos with them and stuff. It's pretty, it's it's pretty sweet. It's so Tasty, bad, it? man. It's just no, it's not bad. getting any better. Next time I'm going to get you like a quadruple shot. That'll put some hair make you on go. your chest. I was going to say something else. <laughs> Move along. Um, one last thing: if either of your kids want to get into the sport, are you going to be, are you going to be like, this, this, I'll always support my kids in whatever they want to do? Or are you going to be like, yes, let's go racing? I would. I'm going to be the more I'll support my my kids and what they would like to do. But I think that I'll be much more like my dad, which is that, you know, school grades, all of that came first. If you didn't get A's and B's, you didn't go racing. And dad was definitely that way. That can't be the that can't and be possible because you're still racing. Dude, well now I've got my A's and B I graduated with A's and Did B's. You? I'm out. It's over. Did it's you? over. I want to see that transcript. The, the, the dean of students liked me a lot. So I want to see the wrong proof with that. <laughs> but you know for me the problem I feel with my girls is that I look with social media nowadays it's just it's the facts. It's not a great world to live in. Particularly when you've got a name like we have. The expectation is high, the haters is high, the people who want to say whatever they want, unbelievable. And I don't really want my girls to live a life that they have to not only live up to our, the Ray Hall side of the name, but also the Force side. And there's no way that they will ever be able to separate those two because everywhere we go, you know, people ask about both. People want to know what's going on. Mom, dad, grandpa, grandpa, all this sort of stuff constantly. And I just think, I hope that they decide that they want to go into golf. With the access and with social media in today's world, unfortunately, uh, the meanest are the loudest, you know? And so we, we live that every day. Uh, but I certainly don't want my girls to, I see what my wife like, was exposed to, see what people would say to Courtney is appalling yeah. on social media. You take that to my daughters, it's gonna be a problem. It's a pop it, rail is gonna yeah, have something to say not, about it. I, well, and I don't have a you know this, I don't have a filter. Yeah. So I'll fire right back. Even well, with Courtney, I used to like start to type and she'd be like, stop, 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 stop. I'm like, here's to your you girls know, being whatever. accountants. So let's yeah, go with that. To a, make good money. Right. Good. Here's a sock sweat cocktail to the Ray Hall girls. Delicious. Awesome, man. <laughs>